Hey, whatever happened to that fan mail thing you used to do? Uh, I mean, I did that years ago before I quit, but like, I mean, people have forgotten about it by now. Maybe they haven't. you guys, I'm just gonna get right into this. This collection was sent to me from Canada by a guy named Bryce Munch. And let me just tell you, it is true what they say about Canadians. They are just super, super nice. I asked him over and over and over and over again if he was sure about sending me this collection. I made sure that he wasn't too attached to it. Everything. This guy out of nowhere, guys. This guy out of nowhere just wanted to send me his entire old Yu-Gi-Oh collection because he doesn't play anymore and I guess it's just been collecting dust and man, I'm telling you guys, I wanted to use this is a starting off point for a new fan mail series, but with everything going on in the world right now, I'm just gonna leave this short, okay? I don't think it's wise to open up a new or start up a new fan mail series. Um, I will be doing kind of a tentative fan mail. If you guys do want to send me something really cool that you want even sent back to you that you want to show on camera, that can be done. Um, you know, you guys can just message me directly for that kind of stuff, but as of right now, I've really wanted to start up, you know, like I said, use this to start up a new fan mail series, but uh, right now, guys, it's just not in the cards. It's just not in the cards with everything going on. I'm really sorry. Bryce, out of nowhere, just said he was a longtime watcher of the channel, and his collection, I guess, has just been collecting dust in his closet, and he just wanted it to go somewhere. And I asked him, like, a million times, like, are you sure, are you sure, are you sure? Because, like, that's a message you don't get. Like, hey, do you want my Yu-Gi-Oh collection? And I was like, if you want me to have it, man. If you want me to have it. So, the answer was yes, and now I have it. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Let's get this open. Enjoy, dude. Thank you so much. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says enjoy, dude. I I probably will. I, you know, I, I will. Like, dude, thank you so much for this already. I'm not, I don't even know what's in here yet. Let's find out. Oh my gosh. Already. Already, you guys. Wow. Hold on. Let me see if I can do something. Yeah, I'll do something like this. This is what we'll have to do. Wow. I can already tell. This is just, this is so much stuff, you guys. This old tin, wow, premium collection tin. I actually have one of these Excel tins. I got these mega tins. These are cool. Tins are really good things to have though, though guys. You guys see my shelf all the all the time in videos and stuff. Those are those uh, tins are all full with commons. Like all full of commons. Every single one is filled with commons. And like actually these legendary collection boxes I have over there as well. Wow, this guy's got the right idea. The right idea. Pack it all tight. Pack it all tight in Yu-Gi-Oh product. I think that's something that some people forget about actually is that you can keep these tins. Don't throw these tins out. Like keep your cards in them, seriously. Um, I find more and more people just keeping stuff in binders and I'm like, you don't have to buy a binder. You know, you bought the tin, you can keep cards in, right? I mean, you can just leave the cards. I mean, obviously don't keep expensive cards just like free floating in a tin, but you know you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's just it's stuff to carry stuff in. But, um, wow, I don't even know where to start. Like, uh, I guess we could start with, with the decks. Like, oh my gosh, I don't. Let's start with the decks. I don't know where to start, guys. I really do not know where to start. This first deck, some kind of synchro deck. Stardust Dragon. What? Herald of the Arc Light. That's a really good card. Cataster. Oh, what? Gishki. Whoa. Hidden Arsenal. Gishki. Hidden. What is all this? Is this some this some kind of what? I thought it was like gonna be evil swarms for a second, but what? What is this? Yeah, it's just a synchro deck. Arch fiends? Like what is this? What was? What, what is this deck? Is this two? This has got to be several different decks or whatever. Like remnants of like different decks. Yeah, because here's like Earthbound stuff randomly in here. Wow, evil storm swarm stuff. So maybe like this. Yeah, I don't think actually. The more I look at this, I don't think this is a deck necessarily. A lot of this was like a lot of these uh, cards go together. Some of these cards are like synchro cards and stuff like junk forward and everything. But then a lot of these just aren't related to each other. So like, wow, this is just like, this is just assorted foils right here. Pyramid Turtle, more Evil Swarm stuff, good stellar stuff. Wow, BLS guys, BLS. Dragon Shrine, that's a fantastic card. Super Rejuve, great card. Confiscation, that's some old good stuff. Probably forever banned, you know, takes cards out of your opponent's hand. No big deal, no big deal at all. Elegant Egotist, got some Harpy stuff in here. What is all this? Some Shadal stuff? Wow, Raigeki Break, that's super gravity bomb. We got some goat stuff in here. Oh, we got some goat stuff. We got some Burning Abyss stuff. Wow. And more goat stuff. That's a Metal Raiders Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. That needs a sleeve. Wow, like stuff I haven't seen in a minute, especially because, you know, if you guys would recall, I was gone for two years and more recently came back. So, like, 
a lot of this stuff is just blasting me back. So let's keep going here. Bunch of tokens. I have a whole box of these, man. This is gonna add to the collection. I, I thought about making a binder just of like, you know, all these ultra rare tokens because I happen to have a lot of these. So that's pretty cool. Oh man, the god cards. God, man. These, I never get tired of looking at these, man. Ugh. Wing Dragon of Raw, Slifer, Obelisk, Azure Eyes, Silver Dragon, got some Blue Eyes stuff. Naturia Beast, that's a good card. Wow, Michael's a good card. Got some Black Wing stuff. Got Shooting Quasar Dragon, Mist Worm. What? Giga Brilliance, Ultimate Rare, Volcasaurus. Wow, yes. Oh man, the Cyber Dragon stuff. Cyber Dragon Nova. Silent Honor Darks. Wow, Effect Baylor, that's always a good card. Five-headed dragon from the show. Cyber Twin Dragon. Gaga Ga Magician. A lot of these from the Zexel Tens. But man, these are cool cards. Like uh Ulti Gaga Ga Magician. I always thought it looked really cool. And it changes its level, so good for for uh, XE's plays. Wow, glow up all guys, glow up all. Too bad they just got banned. That card's so good. The card's so good. This is the legacy of the Valiant Ultra Rare Jack Frost. That is cool. I already have at least two of these, I think. So I think this will make a playset, dude. That's cool. That is tight. Green gadget, fire princess, odd eyes, blue flame swordsman. Wow, I used to actually play this in uh, Battling Boxers, I think, for a minute back in the day. <laughs> That's pretty funny. A uh, Vampire Sorcerer, I always thought looked pretty cool. Sylvan used to be used to be really good. A Sil Sylvan Hermit Tree. Some Mech of Phantom Beast, some more Sylvan stuff. Synchron. Wow, some Exodia Limbs. Oh, Dark Magician. Oh my gosh, Dark Magician and Blue Eyes. That's that ulti Dark Magician I just saw. That's pretty cool. Kane and the Sword Mistress. That's a cool card. Red eyes, red eyes and blue eyes, chain disappearance, and then some good staple cards. Decree, yes, good staple cards. Horn of Heaven, good staple cards. Starlight Road, just got even better with the rule changes. Wow, rank up magic, good cards, goat stuff, some more, yeah, and then uh, Swords of, oh my gosh, I almost said revealing, Swords of Concealing Lights. Oh, wow, ultra rare. Uh, good in all kinds of different formats, um, um, isn't goats actually. Wow, Zombie World. Trade-ins for Blue Eyes, dude. Trade-in. Wow. Silvory Calcos. Dark Hole. Advanced Straw. Magic Planter. These are good cards. I mean, these are like reprinted cards. These are like, you know, from Legendary Collections and stuff. But like, guys, these are good staple cards, dude. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. This is amazing. Like, oh my gosh. Like, that's, that's only two boxes. Like, I can't... Oh my... I still have so much to go through. For the last deck box... If I can, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this. Wow, especially because I haven't like I haven't done fan mail in a long time, so I'm not used to getting sent like just bulk stuff like this like any, anymore. Like oh my gosh, I'm just calm down, <laughs> calm down. Galaxy Eyes Prime, Photon Dragon, Primal Origin, First Dead. Oh my gosh, Silent Honor, our great card. Draco Sack, oh, Dark Rebellion, Cat Shark, Greedy Sir Man, that was really good. These the, these guys, this card's really good against uh, Trick Stars. It was really good against Trick Stars, and Trick Stars are around. Downer Magician, great card. Uh, was a great card in Burning Abyss. It probably still is. Um, Evil Swarm, Ophion. Oh man, always good. Always good in different formats. Good to have Ophion. Felgrand, Totem Bird, great card. Gaia the Dragon Champion. Guys, that's an L.O.B. It's not first, but that's an L.O.B. Gaia the Dragon. Ooh. The Shining. Deanne. Wow. Armades. Vulcan the Divine. Formula Synchron. Some Mega, Mon this Mega Monarch. Uh, Parapara Cerberus. Absolute King Backjack. Good, good staple cards here. Some really good staple cards. Kagamucha Knights. It's an interesting card. Secret Quillbolt Hedgehog. That's a good card. Dragon Ruler, Secret Dragon Ruler, some Dinos, some Secret Dinos, remember, um, uh, Dino Rabbit, some di Dino Rabbit stuff, uh, Shared Ride, Prohibition, like, Prohibition, these, these are good side deck cards, guys, like, throughout the years, these have been very, very good uh, side deck cards, this is Goats, Raigeki, oh my gosh, Secret Rare Ra Raigeki, guys, Secret Rare Goats, speaking of Goat format, there's the Goats themselves, Secret Rare, Secret Rare MST, Secret Rare Compulse, Torrential Reborn, and then just a bunch of sleeves. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it through this. That was just the deck boxes, like, and these things are full. Like, these tins are full, guys. I don't even know where to start with these. I guess I'm gonna start with, like, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna start with this box, because we keep seeing Evil Swarm stuff. So let's start with this box. Let's move everything out of the way. Wow, we have two of these tins to open, two Legendary Collection boxes to open. 
and then uh, two mega tins to open over here full of stuff like these things are heavy guys there's stuff in them like a lot of stuff in them he packed that tight all right got that snipped these just commons what are these I just put some paper in here too to kind of protect them that was nice so don't shift around to get like corner wear or anything that's pretty smart actually what are these what are these this like pop some out probably just commons but still yeah but still these are good commons like this is 2002 format stuff you guys know i play 2002 format like i have tins like these tins over here um i, I have like just tins full of 2002 format stuff full of goat stuff i have binders full of goat stuff i pretty much i just like hoard goat stuff i just like hoard stuff for different formats and this just adds to that um well, if the locals ever open back up again, <laughs> like, um, if people want to learn how to play goats and stuff, wow, really good goat comments. Speaking of goats, Dark Dust Spirit, Strike Ninja. Um, people want to play goats, like Regenerating Mummy, Good Card and Goats. Um, but, like, what, what I'm trying to say is, uh, if, you know, people want to play, learn how to play goats, I just, I have so many goat comments and I have them all in one spot, I could just give people basically entire decks. Very cool, I'm getting Night of Sailors. Very cool, because I've been playing my champion pack, Night of Sailors, and I gotta stop. <laughs> like, so, common Night of Sailors. Very cool, very good to have. Benkai, King of the Swamp. Oh, Benkai, another Benkai. Very good commons. Wow. Insanely good commons so far. The Dark Creator. Outstanding Dog Marin. Guggy Guy or Panda. Wow. Really, really good commons. Suzuki Samurai. Wow. Really good goat commons. This is a good go goat comedy that even guys like this is like a 1900 water like think abyss soldier And it's a high attack water its effect is interesting, but think high attack water. That's an abyss soldier target like Kaiser glider That's goats mirage dragons goats like these old cards guys. They have use like shining angels like oh my gosh I might be more excited about the comments than the foils. I'm not gonna lie guys like I love like hoarding goat stuff I love playing goat formats. I know I talk about it a lot, but it's just a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong I, I mean, I love you know, just I, I love playing playing modern Yu-Gi-Oh, too, but um Goat format. There's something about the poker playing about um, the, you know further progressing and progressing and progressing a format that's been around for a long time, uh, building off of uh, other people's work. Um, and then, like it's pretty much a never-ending baseball game, but when it but Yu-Gi-Oh is, is what it is. Anyways, um, uh, go, some ghost trick stuff. What else we got? Looking for the goat stuff. Looking for that sweet goat stuff is what I'm looking for, man. Manly, because a lot of these cards I have just kind of in my commons. I have common binders, guys. Um, I've shown you guys in a video before of uh, you know the good commons. Uh, I just you know having binders like I don't know Bullblader. Um, I don't know because Bullblader was actually good in a Necros format for a little bit out the Jin Lock. Just random stuff like that. Uh, Planet Pathfinder. There's a better one because this searches a field spell. Um, you know commons that potential. In other words, I'd ha just have like all of them in um, in binders actually, not in like you know good old pro binders like my foils but you know just have them a binder so they're sniped out from the rest of my um commons over there but um ooh, some rares mixed in here a bunch of ghost trick stuff very cool i always like the way the ghost tricks looked lots of light swords very good very good light sworn stuff guys lumina wolves like judgment dragon always good cards light swords still around think about that guys like light sworn cards are still around to this day like light swords are that good fabled ravens he's for uh playing different formats being able to discard cards uh black uh Zephyros the elite very good common um skill white magician skill dark magician yeah this is all goats there's breaker yeah there's breaker silent swordsman a lot of good stuff. Gadgets. Hey, Electric Virus. Very good common uh, in random formats because you can discard this and take a machine or a dragon on your opponent's side of the field. So very good common. The Tricky. Very good common because you can pitch uh, any card to summon it. So you can pitch like Toy Vendor or whatever and get its effect if I remember. Um, yeah, if I think it's any card. I'm not going to read it right now because we have a lot to truck through. <laughs> like we have a lot to go through. Battling Boxer stuff. Battling Boxers need support, guys. Battling Boxers need support. So bad. I used to love that deck. Rank fours for life. Because like if you think about it, like I mean everyone knows this, but like rank fours just the rank four toolbox is still the best like toolbox in Yu-Gi-Oh! pretty much. Like I mean two level fours you can do anything. I mean links have definitely like I mean like with uh, the nightmare cards and everything, like using two monsters for things, but you have to discard for those. Like I don't know. Um links have gotten better is, is my point as as far as like toolboxing goes, but um rank four for life, rank four for life. For sure. Speaking of level fours, ah, oh, DD Warrior Lady, Sacred Crane, Collapse Serpents, good commons, good, good commons. Gilla Lancer, that can be spec'd from hand. Uh, more battling boxers stuff. Bring back battling boxers, seriously. Bring that deck back. That deck's so cool. 
Uh, Lead Yoke, uh, really, really, really cool card. Cannot be destroyed by uh, battle or card effects. Uh, so back in the day, to get rid of that thing, you had to bounce it with Kapulse. So there weren't, weren't uh, very many things that could out it. So um, anyways, uh, Light Hex Seal Fusion, Goat Stuff, Reflect Bounder, that is Goats. So the Wind Jammer, this can actually be played in Cyber Dragons because it's a level five light machine that can be special summoned from hand. Yeah, Elton, and speaking of Cyber Dragon stuff, Cyber Larva, my child, my child. <laughs> Cyber Valley, Proto Cyber Dragon, there's the Cyber Dragon stuff, give me that, mm, give me that. DNA Transplant, Chaos Necromancer, that's an interesting card in Goats. It's got potential. This is actually Goats. Uh, Darkness Approaches. This is one of the most interesting cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, discard two cards from your hand. Select one face-up monster and flip it face down, but do not change its battle position. In other words, this is the only card in Yu-Gi-Oh! that can make something face down attack position. Very weird stuff. The Kappa! The Kappa! Oh, wow. And this is the last of the commons out of here, I believe. No, a little bit more. A little bit more. This is just incredible. Like, even the commons are good. Phantom King Hydra, High Ride, that card's kind of, uh, Beagle Talk for artifacts. High Ride's got, oh, Kinder Maiden, what does that do? Yeah, that's interesting. Um, and it, yes, I do read that fast. It's crazy, it's crazy. Um, what else do we have? I'm looking for that goat stuff. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. Like, Creep Bonds is a good card, you know, e, um, you know back in uh, Teledad formats. And that's the rare one, too, but uh, anyways. Um, I'm looking for that goat stuff because, uh, like I was saying earlier, um, I hoard oh, in these good commons like this yellow be belly donny, rank four shenanigans, um, you know, ghost trick stuff. I, I just like ghost tricks. But um, no, like I said earlier, I just hoard goat stuff just because um, I mean, like any, in anything from those those sets, I just kind of have it in a spot because you never know what's going to be good in goat format. Like I said, the format is um, always being innovated. I'm only talking about goats so much right now because um, there were so many good goat commons in this. Like, thank you so much, dude. Like, seriously. I guess let's do these little tips next get the little tins out of the way um, there's two little tins once again two little tins two big tins and then two whole boxes you gotta undo this tape all right guys I got this open let's see what's in here Does that stuff underneath no it's just that so he's got the plastic and then we'll put that back what is this metal foes fusion I saw that oh that's a good card some Yang Zing stuff coach so oh that's a Judgment of the Light, guys. That's a secret Wolf Bark Judgment of the Light. Used to be very good in a Fire Fist back in the day. Good rank five stuff, Shark Fortress. Um, Pilgrim Reaper is an interesting card. That's a rank six, though. Shark Fortress. So just some good Xyz, good Synchro Commons. Ooh, Card Trooper, that's a good, that's a Shatter, actually, if you guys could see that. But Card Trooper's a good card. Mills, um, that card's Goats, actually. Good commons, good uh, shatters back here. Yeah, that's what they are. It's like all these back here are like shatters and star foils and stuff and mosaic rares from like the battle packs and stuff. That's what these are back here. But those are really cool. Those battle packs did come up with some cool stuff. They really did. Don't forget, guys, they're called collectible tins for a reason because they are collectible. And I actually do not have this one. This tin looks really cool. I don't have this one over there. Um, Really excited for it. Really excited to see what's in it. Got some mats. Ooh, if you guys, if you guys remember, I do collect stru uh, structure and starter deck mats. I have like all of them up until a certain point. I do have a box just full of these. I already have this one, but still, that's way cool. That's way cooler than you think. You, you guys are, some of you guys are like, why are you sending like starter deck mats? Like, no, he's sending me starter deck mats. Like, that, that's awesome. <laughs> like, I collect like all kinds of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, guys. A lot of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff that other people don't collect just to collect it, just because. Other people don't collect it, they throw it out. Like these starter deck structure deck mats, probably the best example. Those are things that everyone just throws out. They might be worth something someday, guys, because everyone throws them out, and they're really cool. That's Yu-Gi-Oh! Arts, after all, and like I said, I have a whole fat box just full of those. So I'm really happy, really happy you sent me that. Thank you so much. I already see Cannon Soldier. Let's do this, because I, I like Cannon Soldier a lot. Some cool rares. Lots of Mecha Phantom Beast. Card Trooper again. Dodger Dragon. 
Ragna. <laughs> hey, Ragna, Rhapsody, Berserk. These are good rank fours. And once again, rank four toolbox, guys. This will blow up anything whose attack is not its original attack, and you get to draw a card. So it's like a Parshath, but better. It's like a better Parshath, pretty much. It's really good. And then um, uh, Rhapsody and Berserk um, lets you. It's, it's DD Crow. It's DD Crow. Like rank four toolbox, guys. Rank four toolbox for life. Leo, that's a really good synchro monster. If you can make that thing, you usually win because, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to make. <laughs> Plus, he's hard to kill. So, um, anyways. Um, cause he can't be targeted during main phase one, I think. He has to be targeted in main phase two. I can't remember right now, but I'm getting distracted. Some fluffle stuff. Very cool Panzer Dragon. Very cool rares. DD Scout Plane's got, oh, like, mad, mad potential in, uh, different formats. Cause, uh, anyone that's banished at, uh, Special Summons itself. So, uh, that's a card I've had my eye on for a long time. We got the Gold Rat, Fairy Knight. Ooh, the Gustav Max. Star Cestus. Lesser Fiend, very cool card, actually. Underrated card, um, once again, in GOAT format. Nightmare Shark, very good in Burning Abyss. Pendulum stuff, very cool. Seraphonite, rip Brilliant Fusion, rip a Brilliant Fusion. First of the Dragons, this card's actually a really good card to make if you read this thing. I don't remember its effect right now, but I think it, it's hard to, I remember it's hard to kill, and I think it like blows up the board when it leaves or something, I can't remember right now. Oh, that's a cool card. Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast. I actually don't have that card. That's awesome, more Fluffles, man. I have like a whole Fluffle deck after this. That's awesome. Skarm, very good. Level Eater, very, very cool stuff. Archfiend Eris. Lots. Oh, Fake Trap, Dragon Capture Jar, Chain Destruction. Shallow Grave, cool card. Card that's always had map potential. Black Illusion Ritual, summon that relinqu relinquished. So in this stack, it looks like we got some foils, um, a bunch of really cool rares, but oh, to be honest, man, besides like the, the good rares in this, I'm really excited for this tin just because I don't have this tin. Like I said, um, I have the Zexel tin, but I don't have that one. That's really cool. That's really, really, really cool. I'm gonna put those over there for now. Let's keep trucking, let's keep trucking. Let's do the big tins next. Bane Betrayer is always interesting. Because like, it like mills cards from the, the top of your opponent's deck or whatever. Summon Gate's always interesting. Oh, rip Gofu. Gofu used to be so good. Why is that card banned? Hey, Crass Clown. Oh, some of these are hard to find. Mind Drain, that's a good card. So, like, there's some good commons in this, too. Mind Drain prevents hand traps. Trap Hole, a Mirror Force, good, you know, good cards in, like, formats of the past. Wabaku. Once again, a lot of these are good in formats of the past. A lot of card, a lot of other cards have potential to come back again in different formats. Maybe never though. Like Dimensional Prison, this is a card that was good back in the day. Um, you know, because it banishes. It's kind of like a Mirror Force, but it banishes or Sakuretsu Armor, but it banishes. Um, just cards that. I mean, you never know though. That card could come back just because it's a battle trap that banishes. Although there are cards like um, Drowning Mirror Force that shuffle like everything back to the deck, making it that much better. But you never know, guys. There's just some good staple cards in Yu-Gi-Oh that just kind of do generic things that kind of make their way in the formats. I'm not saying that that card's going to make its way back into relevancy, but I'm just saying as a rule of thumb, it happens. Very good. Ooh, very good card. That's actually like Solemn Strike or whatever for Psychics. Book of Eclipse. Very good common. Very good common. You never know, guys. Like, seriously. Like, looking through commons, Phoenix Chain, see... There's some good stuff. You can find upstart goblins and commons. Like, people will underestimate commons. Like, I can't tell you how many times I'm like, ooh, it's a jar of greed. Like, there's, there's really good commons to be found um, out there, especially for older formats. Like, especially for older formats. I cannot tell you how many times I've looked through people's collections and they, they just like, or like, look through commons, like at, at stores around here um, for the most part. And they think, you know, they sell it super cheap because cheap they picked it up super cheap and they think it's junk. They have no idea. And they'll be like upstart goblins and like all kinds of other, you know, good commons in there. They're worth like, you know, a buck or two a piece. And you just like pick them apart. Just like, uh, I've done that so many times. But like, Solemn Warning, a good example of a great, great common card. I mean, there's just tons of them back here. Like, just so many good ones, so many good ones. Magical Hats from the show um, also has, like, mad potential. Just because this card has, like, interesting interactions with certain cards, like Dark Coffin and other cards that, like, get uh, destroyed when they're set. So, like, ugh, Magical Hats. And, like, cards had mad potential throughout the years. And plus, it's classic. It's from the show. Yuki played that shit, guys. Yuki played that shit. Makes it good. Makes it really good. Charge of the Light Brigade. So a lot of like the uh, you know um, Light Sworn Structure Deck stuff, but that is good stuff to have because like Charge of the Light Brigade, it mills three from the top of your deck and then adds a Light Sworn. That's a good card. If you're playing grave cards, you, if you're playing cards that you want in the graveyard. Ooh, more trade-ins. Ooh, man, that's awesome. Yeah, but if you're playing cards you want in the graveyard, it makes it fantastic. Plus you just searched your deck and deck thin? 
It's really, really, really good. Especially in Light Sworns, where you know pretty much everything you have is Light Sworn, so you search your whole deck. Very, very cool. Um, just oh, what's the, what else is cool is these freaking commons, like Lightning Vortex. Lightning Vortex, fantastic in goats, like destroys all goats. Supply Squad, uh, Supply Squads, you know, it's been played in some, you know, uh, tier three decks, tier two decks throughout the years. Let's put it that way. Fusion Substitutes um, had its day, um, actually, in Fluffles, um, had its day, um, you know, in other decks as well. I can't forget, I can't remember, I mean, uh, the other deck, but Fusion Substitute, I remember um, Sam played that in Fluffles. Reasoning, a fantastic card. Infernoids, I mean, it's just a really good card in general. If your levels are all over the place, you get a free special summon. Uh, scapegoats, Pot of Duality, oh, man, like, great, great common. Oh, there's so many good commons. Forbidden Chalice, see, like, great commons in this. I might be more excited for the commons than the foils, man. Like, Chaos and, like, dude, that's what I'm talking about. That's some cool stuff. That's some cool old stuff right there. Chain Energy. Yeah, dude. Like, do not underestimate commons ever. Herald of Purple Lights, Valhalla. Yeah, special some of them fairies. All right. Wow. More Jack Frost. Uh, Jack Frost uh, has had his day in uh, different formats as well. Ghost Trick Jack Frost. He's not only he has not only been played in uh, Ghost Tricks, by the way, uh, because he uh, books a card. That's always good, right? Oh, a Noble Knight deck. He's like a whole Noble Knight deck. Is this like the whole? Oh wow! So this is like that. Um... Okay, so this is. Uh, remember that um, that Noble Knight set that came out with like all the Platinumers. This is like the whole thing. And I don't know why people hated on it so much. Some of them look really cool, like some of them look bad, but then like other stuff like this Forbidden Lance and some other stuff like actually looked really good. I thought the Merlin looked really cool in this rarity. Like, I don't know, man. Like they, they've tried, like people give Konami a hard time. Like, yes, it could have been like a better deck that they came out, you know, that that, um, uh, that these rarities came out with, you know, um, to make it more appealing, but uh, still cool stuff. It's still really cool stuff, and it's stuff that might be worth something because, I mean, who knows if they're going to make this particular rarity again? Who freaking knows? But, um, also extra sleeves in the back. Wow. Dude, I have, like, a freaking Noble Knight deck now, and that's, like, this This deck is actually getting support. It's getting more support, so, like, whole-ass Noble Knight deck here. That's freaking cool. That's cool. I don't, like, I know, I've never really played Noble Knights, but gives me an excuse to, for sure. Like, especially, like, everything from the Noble Knight box. That's tight. That's freaking tight. All right, you guys. Next 10. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. I. Ooh. Just straight unopened packs and sleeves. Dude! Dude, you're a freaking madman! You're a madman! Why did you keep these? Like, dude! Unopened, not only unopened mega packs, guys, but. Wow! Judgment of the Light, Dark Crisis. These are probably reprints. Yeah, they are, but still, these aren't first ed, but like, wow. Invasion of Chaos, Spell Ruler. Just. Oh, wow. This is so cool. You can definitely tell that this is a reprint because Spell Ruler instead of Magic Ruler, you know. Pharaoh's Servants. The Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Judgment of the Light. Dual Overload. Some Dual Overload. You see me some Dual Overload? That just came out, you madman! That just freaking came out! I can open these! Like, dude! Dude! You're freaking crazy! Wow! So he, he bought more... Like, this is recent. I did not know he was doing that. Descend. And more... Oh, my gosh. So many mega pa mega tin packs. That's so cool. Like, um, guys, I, I don't... Unopened packs. I've never started collecting unopened packs. So, um, I mean, I could start now. Or you guys could comment below if you if you want me to open them or not. If you guys want me to open all these uh, mega tin packs, I will. That sounds like a cool video to me. I will open all these um, in a video if you guys want me to. Um, I'm also um, down to just start an unopened collection right now because, I mean, these aren't first ed or anything, but I do have a few unopened packs, and this just adds to it. 
I don't know, man. I don't know. Just saying. Just saying. I do have a few unopened packs. Not very many, but I do have a few. My disciple Theo, actually the guy who made me uh, this mat, he has probably the best unopened collection I have ever seen in my life. Fun fact. It's like insane. I might show a, like a snippet of it right now even because he sent me a video of it once, but like... It's, it's nuts. It's, it's literally the best unopened collection I've ever seen. It's, it's, it's insane. I'm very, very, very jealous. Matter of fact, it, thinking of his collection makes me not even want to try to have an unopened collection. I should probably open those bags. <laughs> Seriously, like his collection is that good, guys. It's that freaking good. But uh, moving on, la last two things here. The legendary collection boxes. Let's see what's in these. Ooh, that's cool. You, you what? You what? These are like unopened promo packs from like, oh my gosh. This is an unopened, that's that's from, that's from that hero. Yeah, that's from this hero structure deck. That's from, what in the world? Dude, these are unopened. Just, yeah, these are un, straight unopened promo packs. Wow. Like promo cards from promo boxes, whatever you call them. I don't know. I guess promo packs. I don't know what you call these. I think they're promo packs. I'm pretty sure. I, I've always called them promo packs. And these mats, these hard mats. Those are cool. Dude, the legendary dragon ones and like, oh my gosh, just, I'm not going to open these. I don't, I don't think that, I don't think there's a need to open these. And like, this is like, for example, we all know what's in these. Like, this is like the three God cards and like something else, like from legendary collection one. I can't remember, but, um, still, very, very, very cool. Maybe I should. Maybe this is a sign I should start an unopened collection. I don't know. But like I'm saying, um, Theo's collection is just that good to where it makes me not even yeah. want to try. Matt! I already have this one. Do I have this one on the wall already? Which one's this one? The obelisk. Uh, do I have uh, the obelisk ones up there? I'm actually missing the raw one. I have this lifer one here. Obelisk one up there. I gave the raw one to a kid at Locals one time. And I have a stack of these. Dude, but. Dude, these have never been used. These are cool for the wall. I can make a wall of these. Oh, the, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. This was the coolest one they made right here. Right here, guys. In my opinion, this is the coolest one they ever made when it comes to like these hard like fold mats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For that side right there, just because I'm a sucker for classic Yu-Gi-Oh. Complete sucker for classic Yu-Gi-Oh. Dang, dude, these are so cool. Like, now I gotta, like, now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all this. <laughs> like, seriously, I try, I try so hard to fit everything in this room, but it's getting harder and harder and harder. There's just never enough Yu-Gi-Oh. There's just never enough Yu-Gi-Oh, and I, I seem to keep getting more. And you guys are just, you guys are the best. You guys are seriously the best. But I want to thank you all for watching the channel, supporting me over the years, and sending me cool stuff like this over the years, like just for me to keep, like. I don't know. I'm, I'm, it humbles me every time. It seriously does. Like, I never know what to say. Like, especially, like, I mean, I, I said all I could say when Bryce messaged me. And I want to thank Bryce again right now, you know, at the end of this video. He's the guy, once again, who sent me um, all this stuff. Um, but it was it was something that um, I made sure of with him. I was just like, are, are you sure? Like, are you sure you want to send me this stuff? Like, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? It just blew me away. I was like... Like, I don't know. I don't know. Blows me away every time. Uh, leaves me speechless every time. You guys are the best. Um, I I'm going to thank Bryce again because I feel like it. I'm going to thank you guys again because I feel like it. And I'm out. Subscribe. <laughs>